Hey guys, I hope your week is going well so far. Um, I always film my five for fives on Tuesday so that I can publish them early on Wednesday morning. You guys can get them before work. And so Tuesday of this week happens to be one of my favorite days in the course of a year. It's May the 4th. And right, for those of you that might not know, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. My office is coated in Star Wars posters and toys and, and all kind of other stuff. And I have sh three shelves worth of books from Star Wars Universe. And guys, I can nerd out with the best of them when it comes to Star Wars trivia. So there's just something about the storytelling and the world that George Lucas created in Star Wars that just resonates really, really well with me and of course my family as well. And in the Star Wars universe, there's a power that connects everything, right? It's called the Force. Even if you're not a Star Wars person, you've still heard about the Force. In the books and in the movies, interactions with midichlorians, which are these microscopic organisms found in everything, and when they are in high enough concentration, they allow people to interact with the Force. In Star Wars, the Force gives its users the ability to move things with their minds, to influence the minds of weaker, weaker people or weaker um, species, even see the future. Now, I'm going to admit there are times when I walk in front of an automatic door, like at a grocery store or something, and I catch myself waving my hand like a Jedi to make the door open, knowing that it's not the Force, but, you know person can hope and I realize just how much fiction is in this science fiction when the remote is on the other side of the room and no amount of me concentrating or putting my hand out or straining is going to bring that remote flying into my hand like in Star Wars. While we don't have the force present in our galaxy guys, as believers we have access to a much, much more powerful force, and that is the Holy Spirit. Now, a lot of people will try to compare the Holy Spirit to the force, and guys, I think it's a pretty dangerous thing, right? First of all, the Holy Spirit is a person, and it's not this mysterious force. The Holy Spirit isn't just part of all creation either. In fact, the Holy Spirit was actually present at creation. Genesis 1-2 tells us that, and he was part of the creative process as well, just like God the Father and just like Jesus. We can't simplify the Holy Spirit to something like the Force that we find in Star Wars because we're denying so much of His power and of His purpose. The Holy Spirit is the comforter that Jesus says He is going to send us in John 14, 26, where it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. The Holy Spirit is one of the greatest and most underused resources in the life of a believer, right? He gives us guidance on daily decisions, protects us from spiritual influences that we don't even see coming, and it reminds us of the promises of God that we find in Scripture. And yet, for many believers, the Holy Spirit remains some kind of unknown force at work around us. I read a book by Max Lucado many years ago, and it challenged me in this book to include prayers to the Holy Spirit in my daily prayer life. And guys, that was a powerful challenge. Don't treat him like he's some mysterious energy field out there. Get to know how he works in your life and learn to hear his voice clearly. Romans 15, 13 encourages us with this. It says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. In the Star Wars universe, there is a, a greeting you so often, and most of you guys know it and have heard it. It says, May the Force be with you. Now, as believers, we are promised the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now, let us tune into our, our hearts and our minds to Him and to His presence, and we can live an epic life in the power of the Holy Spirit. Guys, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you all soon.